Nick, I found a clause in our rental agreement. Not right now. I'm in the zone. Hey, Dracula. Hello, Adam. What are you doing? The intro's still wrong. We no one cares about the intro, man. It's no good. The intro's fine, man. There's no issue. It needs jouissance. I don't know what that means. Nobody knows what it means. You know where Nick is? He's sleeping. Oh God. We've been working all night. Jesus Christ! What the fuck did you do to him? I sucked him. I you... sucked him dry. All right. Well, is he gonna be like a Dracula now or something? It's not how it works. It's uh. More like Down syndrome. You're just born with it. Listen, man. I was hoping I'd get a chance to talk to Nick because you've been around so much. And we haven't really had any private time between the two of us recently. Yeah, that old story. I don't understand. We worked together for six and a half years, and now all of a sudden you're in complete com creative control of our entire project. And with oh. my help, this will be the greatest talk show anyone has ever seen. Okay, What's but... your favorite talk show, Adam? I don't know. Name one. I like the Ellen. Dancing with the Stars. That's the greatest talk, talk show, show anyone has ever seen. Okay, all right. I'll hear you out. You ever seen Howie Mandel's penis? He's not on Dancing with the... the only place the... he has okay. hair on his body. Is it true? Yes. I it looks like a roly-poly. We want to make art now. And you're getting in the way of every single aspect of this project. You want to be an artist? Yeah, I want to be an artist. You know who else wanted to be an artist? I got a story for you. Young Bavarian boy. It was his life dream to be an artist. Saved up. Went to art school. Then they kicked him out. They said he was no good. You know what he did next? He killed roughly 150,000 Jews in the Holocaust. You know that boy's name, Adam? It was the Fuhrer Adolf Hitler. Albert Einstein. No, that's not who it was. Listen, if you're going to be involved in this, do whatever you want, but we just need to add jokes, man. You want to hear a joke? Yeah. I'll tell you a joke. Okay. Two clowns start the shittiest podcast of all time for the biggest faggots in the world. Mm, and now they want to be artists and they don't know how to do it. It's not really a joke, but... Listen, we've spent over $150,000 recreating the Dick Cavett show set. We spent $16,000 on chairs. People want a talk show and we're not giving it to them right now. People don't want a talk show, Adam. Yes, they do. I'll tell you what they want. They want Moonlight. They want Driving Miss Daisy. They want Jungle Book. Jungle Book? Green Book, whatever it is. Yeah. But you know what all those movies have in common, Adam? One thing. Black. Just, black. Oh, blacks. That's right. Yeah, black. That's it. They have blacks. That's what the intro needs. Look, I have an idea. The intro We're gonna needs We're going to get blacks? you ready right now. We're going to do an Come acting on. experiment. You stand over here. All right. Put your arms out. Right. Now, how do you feel? Oh, Titanic. Like the king. Um, the, the king, king of, of the, the world. world. Yeah. The king of the world, Jack, that's you. No, I'm, it's Rose who goes like this. No, that's right, and later we're going to paint you. I don't want to be painted. You know who else didn't want to be painted, Adam? Who? Al Jolson. And then I came in, and I blacked him up, and I made him the biggest pop star of the 1980s. And we're going to do that with you. We're going to black you up. We're going to put that in the intro, Black Adam, in blackface. I don't want to do blackface. Well, what do you want? I don't want to do blackface. I, I don't want to do black cock. I don't want to do racism. I don't want to do Wakanda. I want to be a star. It's my show. It's my name. It's the name my parents gave me. It's the only name I have. And it's being run into the ground. It's not even clear what, what the show is anymore. You know what else is clear, Adam? What? Semen. No, it's not. It's translucent. Not my semen. Because I've had 17 vasectomies. I produced 35 Grammy award-winning albums, I owned every Beanie Baby, and on top of all of that, I still find time to be gay. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. So I don't really need your input as to what will make this show good. I just need to be left alone with my work. And I'll leave you and your friend alone here tonight. Because it's almost sunrise and I'm supposed to have drinks with Jadakiss. You know Jadakiss? He's my best friend. You think maybe you might want to come on the show? You're not ready for Jadakiss. You're not even ready for Danny Bonaducci. All right. I'll see you tomorrow night. Nick? 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 Mm. Wake up, dude.
That is, this is funny, Jack. He's Jack gone. here? He's gone. We got to do something about this guy. We got to get rid of this fucking guy. He's running the show into the ground. Yeah. We haven't had any alone time in weeks. Are you doing all right? I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. Are you sure? You don't yeah. seem like you're doing well these days. No, nah, we've just been working all night on this fucking intro. He's got, he's saying it's wrong. There's not enough Al Jolson or something. What the fuck is his problem? I don't know, he's 400 years old. He's, he's Jewish or something. He's not Jewish. I don't know, man. We've got to get back to us. All right, look. I know, I know. Help me up here. All right. I know a way to get rid of him. How do we? But you're not going to like it. What do we have to do? I don't know. This is a guy. And all he does is get rid of Dracula. All right, anything, man. Seriously. But he's a tough hang, this guy. That's fine. And have you been fucking crying? I'm crying. All right, I'll, I'll send him a message, but go clean yourself up. You look like a fucking idiot, dude. I don't want you to embarrass us before he comes here. All right. Hit him up. I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be right back. <laughs> Too much applause. Enough of the applause. All right. All right. What did you guys have in your coffee this morning? It was crazy. Wow. Guys, all right. Okay, enough. Enough. All right. Folks, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show. You know who I am. I'm your host, Adam Friedland. We got a great show for you guys tonight. And I know we've said this before in the past, but this time we fucking swear to God. This is a real television show. And I think you guys are going to really like what we have cooking tonight. We have a massive guest. Everyone put your hands together for Mac DeMarco. Who's excited? Who's excited? We can't get there yet. Okay. But before, let's do the news. Who's excited? Clap it up. The news. Tragic news out of California this week where an elementary school principal killed himself at Disneyland. This marks the second suicide at Disneyland in recent years. Of course, we all remember when Goofy the dog took his own life following the 2020 presidential election. I didn't know, I didn't know he was a conservative. You never know in Hollywood. They're all secret conservative. Anyway. Apparently, the man jumped off of the parking structure, which at $19 a day for parking, many are calling it the real Tower of Terror. That was silly. I like that. Was silly. An 82-year-old grandmother was arrested in Alabama after not paying her trash bill. It's a sad story, but sociologists have been surprised to discover the first old person in recorded history that can't be tricked into paying for garbage. <laughs> That's funny. They do buy a lot of crap. They buy a lot of crap with those olds. All right. Needle spiking is on the rise in Europe, a practice which predators inject their victims with drugs using hypodermic needles. This is horrible news for Amer many American travelers who are already complaining about being forcibly injected to be allowed on the plane. <laughs> Vaccine. That's good. Topical. Still. Still topical. <laughs> Chris Christie, former governor of New Jersey, his niece bit a police officer while being escorted off the, a Spirit Airlines flight. When reached for comment, Spirit Airlines said that they were appalled by her behavior. So appalled that they wouldn't refund her for her row of seats. That's a little cheap, a little bit of a low blow, but that's, we don't pull any punches here. A five-year-old girl in Connecticut was attacked by a raccoon recently while waiting for a bus. 
Animal Control was initially optimistic after the attack, believing that they'd caught the raccoon, only to later have to release and apologize to actor Josh Gad. Do you remember that guy? Do you know that guy? It's annoying. Look at his Twitter. Very annoying. He looks like a raccoon, but not because he's Jew. Uh, never, never mind. Um, I don't even know if he... Anyway. Okay. A Christmas parade in Kentucky has been canceled over anonymous threats directed at anyone protesting the event. Activists had planned to picket the event in honor of Emmett Till. People were further appalled when the Rupert Murdoch-owned New York Post called it the lynch that stole Christmas. That's messed up. I think that's messed up. They like puns. It's a good pun. I don't, I, it's a bad pun because of what it's saying. But the pun, it, it, it works. It's a bad pun that works. All right. A Tennessee father died over Thanksgiving after a defibrillator caused him to burst into flames. Doctors are saying he died as a result of his heart catching on fire, while the man's family blames Dr. Anthony Fauci. It's topical. I'm going to have to hear both sides of that one, right? Guys? Okay. North Korea has executed three high schoolers for distributing a South Korean soap opera among the students. It's a tragic story. But as a song and dance man myself, one could only hope that one day children will be killed for watching this show. Probably because of how we treat nieces on this show. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. It was good. That was a good one. I liked it. Anyway, after a freighter lost several shipping containers filled with Yeti coolers off the coast of Alaska, scavengers are searching for the high-end camping gear on beaches. Terrible news for the environment, but that's great news for the members of the subreddit, Yeti Coolers. We have fun with those guys, don't we? We have fun with them. The California reparations proposal could mean that every black resident would receive $220,000. Lesser known activist groups are pushing to be included in the reparations, including bald men, men under five foot six, and big women. All right, that's the news. That's the news, guys. What'd you think? What'd you think of the news? All right, guys. I want you to stay tuned because we have a big guest. I thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for sticking by our side. We are paying you back. Hopefully, hopefully you like this. Don't embarrass me. I got celebrity friends now. Please don't embarrass me. After this, back to Marco. Five. You have diabetes and you're on Medicare. You may qualify for a free meter from Liberty Medical. If you have type 2 diabetes like I have, you're confronted with choices. You can choose to feel sorry for yourself. I hope you don't. I hope you choose to get involved with a good doctor. Find out some things about diabetes and your own body in the bargain. You learn to check your own blood sugar and check it often. That, along with a simple diet and exercise program, can help keep your diabetes under control. If you're on Medicare, call Liberty Medical. We'll help you keep your diabetes under control. First, we'll give you a free meter. No one is more serious than Liberty about helping you keep your diabetes under control. That's why we're a proud sponsor of the American Diabetes Association in their mission to prevent and cure diabetes. Call for your free meter and ADA offer. Call 1-800-816-8052. Prepare for one cop's journey into the heart of darkness. What do you fear? The Sentinel. Thursday night at 9 on UPN 38. My guest tonight is a multi-talented musician who David Brooks of the New York Times has described as the godfather of jizz jazz. Um, it is my pleasure to welcome the three-time Polaris Prize nominee, um, the pride of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and my friend, the first ever out of the closet Italian Canadian celebrity. Please welcome Max Marco, everyone. That's better. It's like a real talk show. So, this, you know what this is? Yeah, I know. I've seen Did it. Did I describe it? What? I mean, it's kind of like this is a, uh, you're like the first of this thing that we're doing right now. Yeah, well, okay. We, we, we had like a moronic podcast 
I think you've done a little bit of this before. And that, no, but now we want to be uh, se- taken seriously. So let's do it. Then. So yeah. All right. Are you taking this seriously? Yeah. Or? Okay. Good. Professional. So you uh, were nominated for the Polaris Prize. Well, I just found out uh-huh. that for more, I went one <laughs> time. Yes. Well, I've been nominated three times. And they didn't invite you back. Well, maybe they did, but I didn't notice or something. Because you were an embarrassment the first time. Mm, probably. What did you do? We had it. The after party, we had a nice time at the after party, and there was some. Yeah. They had a cover band. Yeah. You were like, just uh, Prime Minister Justin, do that Jamaican character that everyone loved. <laughs> no? No. You didn't do that? No, no Justin there. Was he there? No, he doesn't come to that, I don't think. Because uh, I feel like Canada takes care of its artists. Yeah. Than they do it in I, the um, States. Yeah. We get the, uh, you know, it's like a, um, we have a, I don't know, what do you, what a socialist um, uh, kind mm-hmm. of, uh, they, they have money for the arts. Mm-hmm. I don't get, I don't think I, well, I've, I've uh, received some, but I don't think I get as much as some other Canadians do. Yeah. Name yeah. names. Let's hear it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Feist. I'm what sure a, she gets grand funding. Yeah. She's a friend what, of mine. What a fraud. Oh, a friend of yours. Yeah. Never mind. Um, she's great. Yeah, she's good. Uh, how about... Um, and and Justin gives her money? I'm sure. Yeah. How do you think he feels being the second most important Justin from Canada? Other than the Biebs? Yeah, the best uh, guy ever. I don't know. I don't know. It probably pisses him off a little bit. Right? <laughs> I don't know. All right, never mind. I don't know. I guess whatever. So thanks for doing this show. Thanks for having I me. Appreciate it's very it. exciting. I've been watching the show uh, after I met you recently. At a wedding. At a wedding. We met at a wedding. Yeah. We hit it off at a wedding. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I was not, I, I, I was, a, I think I had heard before, but I was a little unaware. But now mm. I'd like to, uh, I've, I've seen it now. I'm a fan now. You so are? Exciting. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, nice, bro. So here I am. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We, we met at a wedding and, uh, we hit it off because we knew th- the same uh, psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about him for an hour and a half. Yeah, this is true. And our girlfriends were like, why aren't you dancing with they us? They had a nice yeah. time as well. Yeah. It was a beautiful wedding. It was. It th- that was honestly one of the funnest weddings I've ever been to. I don't get invited to weddings very often, but I was happy to be at that one. So. But why? Because of the Polaris Prize it's situation? All, it all comes yeah. back to the They're Polaris like, don't Prize invite this guy. <laughs> That's right. He's going to fuck up your wedding. That's right. What what did you do at the Polaris Prize? You did we a were, bit. We were we were in our underwear and we were dancing. We were just having a really good time. But a lot of the other people were not having. It's you know I think a lot of people I don't know. It's those things that you know the award kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's hard to take it seriously, but some people do take it really seriously. It's Maybe. so cute though that Canada is like we're gonna have our own thing. They, yeah, they yeah, and we're gonna take it seriously. I was thinking about that the other day because it's like uh, what, what what were we saying? Oh no, no! Canada has its own award shows. I was saying Canada doesn't really have any of its own talk shows. It doesn't. No. No. Well, they should have. What's up one. with that? Yeah. But they have like a daily show kind of thing that Nathan used to be on. No. They had that. They had this. You ever heard of this guy George Strombolopoulos? No. He's a Canadian legend. Uh, well, who is he? He had a he He's had like a, a talk s- show. A as swarthy well. called, Greek. Uh, huh. He's like a swarthy Greek. He was a Greek. He was kind of like the uh, the alt uh, music interview Canadian. Uh, he was, a, he was a hipster. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Strombolopoulos. He was like a Kurt Loder kind of guy for Canada. Who's, I don't know Kurt Loder. Oh, he was a M- MTV. Oh, yeah. Similar, yeah, yeah but yeah. we have Much Music. Much Music. He had a, a, a program within Much Music called The Wedge. And and he it was like cool music. It was the cool music, yeah. Sick. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. And you like uh, you found People out about cool stuff? shortened his name to Strombo. Strombo. Yeah. It's very Canadian. He has another yeah. segment. It's an online thing he calls a House of Strombo. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. We're really giving him Did you plug. get on the show? I d- I've done House of Strombo before. I've met Strombo. You were Lopez. hyped on it. I was. It's great. It's yeah. like meeting. It's almost like, you know, you know who Nardwar is. Of course. Simil- well, the different. The human but, serviette. You know, that's right. It's kind of a very kinky nickname. Yeah. He seems like a very sexless guy, but then he's like... His nickname is like, uh, I get boogers sprayed on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, he's great. He's yeah, great. he's yeah. the best. Legendary. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did one? I've done an Ardwar too. What did he give you? Uh, he gave me a, actually, he gave me something really cool, but I think he took it back. Some of the gifts he lets you mm-hmm. keep, some he could. He gave he me was a, a uh, first person's giver. He got Ian McKay. He was a, he was a, uh, a native first person's giver. Yeah. yeah. Is that what they call it in Canada? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. Um he gave me a uh 
a letter that he had Ian Mackay write me. Oh, really? From uh, Minor Threat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I used to see him around D.C. I used to live in D.C. Because Minor Threat had a 7-inch called Salad Days. Oh, so you copied. an album called Salad Days. And so he was like, you're a copycat, Ian Mackay. Yeah. Nardwar yeah. was just, yeah. Nardwar's like he yeah, said, you, you stink. That's yeah. right. That's mean of him. I know. I love Fugazi still. So. Yeah. But Nardwar stayed for the whole show, though. I watched the whole show. He was really amped. The, he the seems like such a that. pure soul. He was like, oh, it's all ages. He was like, so excited that it was an all ages show. He was very, very pleased by that. He What's was, his life outside of... Uh, you know, I don't think that I don't think that the bit ends uh, when the cameras. Uh, oh, that's uh, him. I think that's him. That's yeah. no, that's better. Yeah, it's right? cool. Yeah, yeah. It's not like he's like uh, the camera goes off and he's like beating his staff and he's like a nightmare. I mean, I haven't seen yeah. it too much, but I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> if Nardwar was like a Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, no. It it was cool when rappers started doing it because then yeah. they they'd go like alt comedy. Yeah, rappers would always do a bit. You know. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 It was great. I yeah. think it was Snoop Dogg maybe that popularized. What was his? What did he, he just do? went on and, w- and his reactions were like, wow, you know everything. This is incredible. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. And then it's the same thing that happened to the NPR tiny desk. Yeah. That was really it, became a uh, thing. T-Pain did his. And everyone was like, wow. Yeah, that was very amazing though. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. a big, I like him a lot. Yeah. He's awesome. People like uh, when you remember Auto Tune came out, yeah, and everyone was like, "This is crap." Well, I think the cool thing with T Pain is everyone's like, "He can't sing; he just uses Auto Tune." And then and he they heard him the sing for real, and yeah, he's singing. I know. And everyone was like, "Wow, incredible!" Yeah, it was amazing. Jay Z had a song, "Death of Auto Tune." I don't remember that. It was kind of like a, a, a fuck this uh, cr- uh, crud. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And then uh, and then we we showed him yeah. us Auto Tune musician. <laughs> Have you ever used that? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. The other day at the Jimmy Fallon thing. Yeah. I went to Fallon with him. This is correct. Yeah. Um, celebrity. The celebrity. other day yeah. I had a one sour note, one high sour note. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, well, and when you finish doing the, the, the performance there, uh-huh. you go in this, they call it a truck, but I think it's just another room on another floor. You go and you get to listen to the music and you can, and you can make, fix it. You can mix it and stuff. Oh, um, but I never do it because I don't, I don't, I can't. I don't want to do it. But the kids went, uh, J.D. and Domi went and, and did it. And uh, I, I remembered I mm. had one sour note. Then they came back down. And they were like, oh, we got it. I was like, what do you mean we Fix got it? it? They're like, yeah, we tuned it. That's like, sick. And it's kind of like, I was like, yeah. But I was kind of like, okay, okay. I'm not ashamed. I'm saying it here now. Who cares? Mm. Who cares? They pinched it. They got it. They tweaked it. And it's fine. That's cute. Yeah. I like, I, that was a, that was, that was pretty cool. I want to see you go up there. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. You were scared? Yeah, it's terrifying, yeah. You get scared to go up? Yeah. Yeah? Only for things like that though. How do you how do you deal with uh being scared? Um I don't know. You're very funny in like uh banter, stage banter. Sure. Well sometimes maybe, I don't know. That was like a brand thing. Maybe, yeah. R- Riley was R- I think that Riley that's was part saying of- whenever he does a good bit between songs, they're like, Oh, you're just fucking doing DeMarco. I mean, you know, they used to call me a goofball. Maybe yeah. they still do call me a goofball. I don't know. But um, it feels good to get a pop. What is it? You mean, do, 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 oh, I'm talking stand up terms. Yeah. It was a pop. Like a big laugh. It feels good. Yeah. I think it's more like I, I like to confuse people when I'm up there or something. I don't know. You're like wacky. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think that maybe you're in a van with other people for so long that it's like you are doing things that inherently you guys have sculpted and think is funny, but the. Mm-hmm. The audience doesn't really it's different though than stand up because if you make if you do something that you think is funny nobody yeah. else does it doesn't matter because then you just play the but song but you don't bomb you crush oh sometimes you know bomb. you crush come on bro i don't know i feel like sometimes you, the, the audience can't even tell what i'm saying really yeah do you do uh like uh regional material we do that yeah, in stand up yeah, 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 we're yeah, like yeah. oh yeah like uh, i remember there's you remember you met my friend matt the other day i love that guy he was we were playing in uh in uh, uh, Dublin once, uh, years mm-hmm. a couple years ago, Slum he kept tea. putting. Uh, we had these projection screens behind us, and he would put. He would get some local uh, footage, or you know, some kind of you know. He I, I don't know, just a local material that mm-hmm. he could pr- project and you know mix in with footage of us playing. But he kept putting up uh, Connor Connor McGregor, oh, the sick. boxer. People yeah. did not like that. MMA, not boxing. Yeah. Is it MMA? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, people don't. They were boo. I was yeah. confused. 
Really? Yeah. But, they uh, they didn't like it. They're pissed off. Yeah. Re- why? And he kept doing it. He kept doing it over. They don't. Over. Fu- they don't ride with Connor. I don't know. I guess not. Maybe not the kids mm. at my show. I don't really know. They should have put up Thin Lizzy. Maybe we had some Thin Lizzy. Yeah. Do that you like a, Thin Lizzy? Yeah, Thin Lizzy's amazing. The One best dude. I used to have this argument with um, uh, this guy Pierce that played with me a long time ago. Morgan and uh, Piers Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Canadian. He's not British, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it saying? Pierce. Uh, Pier- yeah, and Simon, this other it's old friend. They Howell. used to say we, we've known each other for I don't know, fifteen years, something like uh-huh. that. But uh, they uh, they didn't like the Beatles back then, Ugh. and they'd say, "Why would you listen to the Beatles like the when you pistols. could listen to Thin Lizzy?" What? And I was kind of like, I don't understand. Why do people have to? Why does it have to be one or the other? Well, that yeah, one or the it's other. So in stupid. some situations makes sense, but like that one doesn't really make any. Like I don't. I don't Those aren't analogs that. of one another. No, I know. Yeah. yeah, but that was always where it wound up was Thin Lizzy. Beatles Lizzie or versus Thin Lizzy? Yeah, I know. Kind of weird. No, but it's either Beatles or Elvis, the Tarantino yeah. maxim. Yeah. Or Beatles or Stones. Beatles or Thin Lizzy. When I was a kid, they said Be- you got to go Beatles or Stones. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was like, oh, well, I like the beat. My parents like the Beatles and yeah. I got into it. And then uh, and then I, I started getting uh, girls, like yeah. getting into sex. Yeah. And then I went stone. Sexy. I think Stones. the Beatles are sexy, too, though. Are they? They're kind of like a little if bit you met, If you met a beautiful young woman that you were perhaps, mm-hmm. um, it went got to the point where you were like, perhaps maybe I'd like to marry this woman, have mm-hmm. a life with this woman. Yeah. And, you know, treat this woman correctly for the rest of her life. And I love respect. treating women correctly. What would correctly. you play her in that instance? Would you play the Beatles or would you play the Stones? I'd play her uh, Brown Sugar by the Stones. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. What do you mean? To, I like, don't know. What flavor to convince you her that you're a good guy? No, what, not what, to what do you mean the that, question? But it's like what you know that, that I feel like you know, you're you're. you're I feel like you're kind of like yeah, like I hey, guess rock they, and roll, sexy baby, let's go. You know, I mean, like, they were the the Stones. Yeah, were, they were. But I find the Beatles were sexy too. But what, it's kind of what, more like happiness like is a warm like, gun. Like, is is a baby. little bit sexy. Yeah. But it's about it's about doing doing the horse. Yeah, horse. Yeah, doing horse. Yeah, doing horse. <laughs> but you know they have. It's but like, heroin is like a sex drug. Is that like a lot of songs? They like they make heroin sound like it's it's sexy. fucking. Yeah, I don't. I've know. never done it personally. No, I've never done it yeah. either. It sounds cool. Though. Horse. I've ridden a horse though. Have one you? Time. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Rode a camel once too. And me too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but um, in Zionist Israel, I read I rode a camel. You like animals? Yeah, really? Well, yes. Yeah, you have a dog? Me. No, I have a cat. Cat? Ugh. Come on. What do you mean? It's for girls. It's so a much cat. easier than a dog. So much. It's so so much more self sufficient. It's so much really, more elegant. You don't have to take it on a walk. Yeah, and all day, what does it do? It just sits around and cleans itself. You know, my friend Nick, uh, he uh, has like a he leaves it for weeks. And he just has a computer that feeds it. Feeds the cat. The cat, yeah. Yeah, those like it's automatic kind of a, feeder things. That's yeah. amazing. That's not amazing. It's like, it's, what kind of life is that? I don't know. That's good. It's he hasn't simple. even given it a, a name. That's well, you know, that's weird. Know. Yeah. My cat went away for six days a couple weeks ago. It was a very traumatic Where? experience. It's horrible. To gay conversion therapy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think it got locked in somebody's away? garage. Oh really? Yeah, probably. It was a rainstorm. Very rare thing in L.A. Oh, yeah. Went away, got locked in a garage, came back six you days it? later. Yeah, we thought it was dead. That's sad. Came back emaciated and skinny. And uh, I think about my dog dying all the time. Yeah. When I got her the first day, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to watch her die. It's yeah. going to be the worst day. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should just uh, execute and, and taxidermy now. Get it over with. I was thinking about taxidermying. Yeah. Would it be weird? I don't if know. If I stuffed my dog. When the, <laughs> when so the so cat came chilling? back, I was kind of like, this is bound to happen again. Like, what are our options so that we don't go through that again? And the only option is to. It's so painful. Yeah, it sucks. Because it's like, if you're a parent of a human, like, you should never bury your child. No. But if you get a pet, it's like, you, you better not die before that bastard. You know? Yeah. You better it's outlive to, that. I feel like with the pets, it's like, you yeah. feel bad. We felt bad when the cat yeah. went. And you tell your homies, and they're kind of like, oh. But they, they're they also kind of like, fuck No, me. no sympathy. It's a cat. I don't give a fuck. It's like when someone tells me their grandparent just died. Yeah. I'm always like, grow up. 
Grow. Uh, we're adults. Yeah. I'm not going to feel bad for you about that. Oh, I'm having a hard time. My grandmother just died. I'm like, yeah. she's, what, what is she going to do? Live? <laughs> what is she? <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, no, it's okay. You like that? Yeah, I like You that. don't traffic in smut like we do as Tra- comedians. Uh, I mean, you know, no. I mean, What's no. your concept of sincerity? Concept of sincerity? Yeah. If you're writing a song, are you like doing it from the soul or are you, oh. are you goofing a little bit? Well, there's, you know, sometimes you goof, sometimes I like to, you know. You goof a little. A lot really with the songs too much. Really? I think here's my, 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 uh, my, uh, uh, order of, uh, operation or whatever the fuck you say is, uh, mm-hmm. it's like, um, I like to make the song. I like yeah. to make the song. I make it, you know, try and make it as real as whatever, you know, maybe it's sometimes some people would probably classify it as sounding funny or having funny i don't know whatever but it's you know you're saying sonically thing. it sounds funny maybe i don't okay. know okay but whatever. not the I, words i don't know to me it's, it's it's like okay i like this this is something it's important it's art to me or something okay like that, you know what I mean? i'm so but jealous of I everything think, you're saying right now okay i wish i was a but, musician but the yeah. thing is i think that having the um having the you know you have um hang-ups and uh insecurities about sure. releasing yourself into the world like that Scary. so then maybe some goofiness comes around you know you put cigarettes out on your body on stage or yeah. drink a bottle of jameson or you know show your butt cheeks you stop that right i don't drink anymore and i don't smoke cigs anymore but you know the shows are still kind of strange I, th- I would think but maybe in a different way you act strange soberly um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to make people, people, you know, if you go to a show, I sometimes I go to a show, mm-hmm. music show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you just, you get in there and people just play the music. That's yeah. fine. If they're good, if they're good, that's sure. fine. It's kind of boring though. If it's just the songs. You want, you want a little flavor. Yeah. And I don't want any of that fucking, a lot of people, a lot of people predetermine their banter or they have some kind of fancy That's light show or something and it's going to be exactly the same every night mm-hmm. go fuck yourself i saw a billy joel at msg recently that was probably great and he was fucking with the audience he was like playing b-sides yeah and the entire audience was just like sunburned long island like bo- he- boat guys or guys that aspire to Sag have a boat. guys yeah yeah um and they were all like he was just playing like b-sides and and those guys were like bottle of red bottle of you know (laughs) and then he would he started two songs and stopped midway through yeah he was like yeah whatever you guys don't give a fuck about this and it was at at, relating it to stand-up or whatever i was like that is the most inspirational thing in the world like starting a bit that i could tell is not hitting and being brave enough to be like yeah fuck this yeah you want to you want the piano man? That's what I'm saying, though. It's because, you know, he he's still, and then he's like, here's the song. And everyone's like, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, but I th- I'll tell wait, but that's on the, that's his MSG on them. thing. Right? That's his thing. He does Where it once a month. See, this is the most baller move in all of the music it's history. Crazy. It, yeah. It, it's like, well, because what's the deal? He's going to keep doing it until it stops selling out. He's been doing it since before I it lived It won't here. not sell out. It's never going to happen. Yeah. He's been doing it for like seven years or something. And he just keeps doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And here's the best part uh-huh. is that he doesn't take a limo from his crib on Long Island. There, He, he takes a take, helicopter. He takes a fucking helicopter. I heard this too. Yeah. Maybe I told you at the wedding. Maybe I told you. No. I Actually, I invented that. Okay. No. Yeah. Apparently, he's back at home yeah. on Long Island before a, most people are out of the MSG. Yeah. It's amazing. So pimp. I wonder. I, I've always been curious how much he makes per show. It's probably just a boatload of cash. How much do you think? Um, You're in the biz. I don't know. <laughs> MSG. I mean, I don't play places that big. Depends. I don't know what kind yeah, of overhead. Yeah, but you're gonna after man. this. You're gonna play. That's true. Yeah. I think um, he probably makes. You know, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But I like um, Billy too. In general, it's kind of like Billy. He's like the ultimate con man. You know what I mean? Like he's well, he's got, pretty. Like, yeah, I mean, he, he's pretty good at piano. He's, oh, he's not amazing. He had, no, he's amazing. He's not lying but, about but that. But he's he's borrowed a lot of swag over the years. Like you uh-huh. gotta say like uh, from the black community is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. He just he takes other people's songs, makes them his own. You know what I mean? So say like uh, he's um, a copier. Take take um take uh take uh, uh, uh Uptown Girl. That's a Frankie uh-huh. Valley song. Yeah, I didn't. I don't like the doo wop. No, I love that song. You like song. the doo wop? Frankie Valley's incredible. But I like the I like Frankie Valley, but Uptown I don't. I don't like the '80s doo wop. No, it's awesome. That's awesome. Do you remember uh, in uh, st- uh was it Step Brothers? The, the uh, yeah. Catalina wine mixer, where the it was only a a, a doo wop 
the the cover band playing was only Billy Doo-Wop era. I don't know. Very good bit. I like that. It was Horatio Sands was doing that. Oh yeah. He's a, he's a recently canceled. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was not funny actually. No. Whatever. Um, um, but hold. Wait, no, continue. No, hold, sorry, yeah, we got we got a bad girl, interview. Frankie Valley. Yeah. Let's take uh, let's take what's the what? Uh, we didn't start the fire. Is that the song? Yeah. It's like that's a, from a, rap. Uh, He's I'd rapping that's a little a, bit. That's some Bruce Springsteen, you know, 80s Bruce Springsteen yeah. kind of borrowing right there. We got, uh, what's the one? What's the fucking song? Uh, 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 I don't, don't know. Don't Ask Me Why. Oh, Paul great McCartney. song. Just an oh, absolute, that is a McCartney song. It's, he's ripping yeah, yeah. it off. And he's yeah. done it with Elton John a whole bunch. But they're, I mean, he's homies with everybody. He's Billy Joel. But right. it's like, he's like a, you know, I never got into Billy Joel till I lived here. And then I would drive around in my car and, and, and I would just keep CBS on all the time. Yeah. Uh, and, one and oh, what is it? 100.7. 101. 101. Point something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a car guy, so I listen to radio. Nice. It's been great. Yeah. The, like uh, getting a car in the city and then listening to local New York radio. It's the best. Especially sports radio. Yeah. Sports like sports radio in New York is like, is like like uh, just Mongol like cops that are on like leave for police brutality mm. from their houses in uh, Long Island. They're like the 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 Jets have like too many blacks this year. You know, it's just like a it's just a, a cross section of society yeah. that you never interact with. But yeah. like yeah, but CBS FM I listen to all the fucking good. time. Yeah, it's a good station. They love Billy here. Oh, yeah, everybody loves Billy. He's but it's the king too, of it's the area. too like uh, musical theater a little bit, no? Yeah, but it's fine. What's the problem with that? I, it's very New York sounding to it's me. It's New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long Island. He he's tells cool. stories I mean, about yeah, Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever told a story in a song? No, I can't do it. I can't do that. Randy Newman was very good. Randy's at that, good at that too. You like Randy? Yeah, Randy's awesome. He's sick. Yeah, it's cool that his brother does uh, scores. Who's that? Randy Newman's brother. John Williams. No. No. Uh what what's his name? Some something Newman. What? I, I thought you would Randy know Newman's and I forgot the guy's name and I, I thought Randy's you would be like, it. You're right. It's uh What are you talking about? Yeah, Adolf Newman. Newman. Paul, Paul Newman, of course, yeah. He does scores, salad dressing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. He's the sexiest guy of all time. Yeah. He, I don't he know. is. I don't uh, know shit about Paul Newman. Re- what? I don't know. Oh, you got to get into Paul Newman. Okay. Yeah. He was uh, the sexiest guy of all time. And then at 40, he's like, I want to be a professional race car driver. Oh, yeah. Imagine being so sexy. You know who's doing that is uh, Magneto. From X-Men? Yeah. Michael Fassbender. Oh, that Magneto. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy. That not guy. A, is, not a, that not guy a, is sexy. He's so sexy. Oh, my God. But what, no, Did no, you no, see no. his penis in that movie, Shame? No. <laughs> Tremendous! You got to see this penis. What are we talking about? Uh, he's in this movie. It's very bad. Has it's, he been clipped? It's about, uh, I think maybe uncut. Uh, oh nice. really? Yeah. You want to go on the record about this? A uh, cut or uncut? My penis. A lot of a lot of people have been speculating. My I've been, penis. I've, I've been on r slash Mac Demarco. Hoodless. Hoodless. Yeah. Nice brother. Nice. I don't know. It's one of those. Yeah. I you're fake know. Italian. You're Jewish, really, right? <laughs> maybe, That's why you know. you're in show business, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Um, no, but what are your thoughts on the Jews? You know, I'm just God bless. I'm the just Jews. playing, dude. I I don't want to have this kind of demeanor as an interviewer. How are you? What do you think of this? Well, of what? Am I being a chiller? Am yeah, I being I'm like a nice time? Am I, I putting know. the screws to you right I don't now? Know if you guys, are, if you guys like, yeah, hopefully you like this. I don't really know. I love. I'm having fun right I'm now. What do you guys too. think? Nick, okay, you like great, it? Great, 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 great. As long as Nick likes, it, I don't care about the rest of you. <laughs> Dave, what do you think? Nice. So you, yeah. you made SIGs popular with kids? My girlfriend was saying this. Yeah. She was saying that the brand of SIG you smoked. Here's the thing. Kids, Here's that kids in her in her uh, high school were buying. Where'd she go to high school? In New York City. Well, you can't buy the brand of SIGs that I smoked in New York City. So that's a flat out lie. Well, they were they were getting they were getting smuggled over. That's from you can uh, get Canada. Them in Canada. You can get them in Russia. You can get them in like Eastern Europe. Russia. Yeah. Like, really. Oh yeah. Is there like a? I don't know. Here's the thing. The the brand you're talking about is a brand called Viceroy. It used to be a very popular brand in the United States. Steve McQueen was the. Uh, Sexy he, guy. He was the spokesperson for the brand. There used to be. Yeah, I'm loving talking about hot guys with you right Steve now. Steve McQueen's one of the hottest. We've of all named time. three of the guys that I would love to f- fuck. Yeah, big yeah. 
we can go dig up Steve's bones later and see how he's dead. Give him a little yeah, dust sad. off. Yeah. Um, anyway, continue about. Uh, but he, the, 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 the motto was Viceroy, the smoking man's taste with the thinking man's filter. Oh, it's for and smart it, guys. Yeah, I think yeah. it was like filters were new and they were like, check this out. Oh, filters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because before it was just like a log, like a tube of tobacco Disgusting. or whatever. I mean, you can still buy those somewhere. But uh, what do they call those? Uncut. Yeah, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And what are they Not called? like me. Not like you. Nice, yeah. brother. Um, Dude. Nice, brother. Apparently, you know it's what? I had a lot of, I, you know, uh, th- there was a period in my younger life where I uh, was curious about the, um, the the cut fashion of my... Oh, not a period. I still am. But it's, <laughs> but it's like um, I, about the sensitivity. Oh, apparently it's, uh, we have worse yeah, ones. It sucks. I had a, a, fr- I had a, a friend like, of mine with a foreskin. He's like, he's, he's British. He's like, let me put, put it to you this way. He's like, yours is this, and mine is this. What's the difference there? Well, it's like there's more, yeah, you've, oh. yeah. And so, I mean, I don't know how he knows what mine is like, yeah. but like, <laughs> when I when he did that, when he told me that, I was like, if I had, I mean, I think it's if true. I had this, yeah. I would have like ruined my. I've already ruined my life with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. If I had this, It'd be a big problem. It would it would be a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a fucking eternal nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. You I agree. agree. I, nice do. I, I yeah. agree with that. We agree. Um, what were we talking about? Viceroy cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Um, but it was a bit, it's a joke. You know, it's a funny joke song where I do, you know, I was. You sing a song about him. Ode to Viceroy, mm-hmm. which is a little funny pun, Ode to Joy. You mm-hmm. know, all that fucking. Oh, thing. like yeah. classical music. There you go, yeah. classical music. We're like, oh, hey, little kids. Indie rocker makes a classical c- music. Cigarettes joke. are cool, kids. And it's funny to yeah. write. The whole concept was uh, there was a. We did some shows in New York back before I did that record. We came back and at duty free, I bought this carton of these cigarettes called Sheriffs. They were mm-hmm. disgusting. They were 100s. They were disgusting. I Crap. smoked them the whole time I was recording that record. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it felt kind of like. Um, like I was uh, having an affair with my brand, which is the Viceroy's that I was smoking. That was like in. your wife. Yeah, but even smoking when you, if you smoked Viceroy in in Canada at that point in time, everyone was kind. Of, it was the kind of thing where someone, can I bum a smoke off? And you're like, sure. And they're like, I don't want one of those. Like it's disgusting. They were re, they were Nasty. the bottom rung, very very bad. And, and cigarettes are a bit different in Canada too, because it's like uh, they're all uh, federally regulated. Mm-hmm. So it's like I think there's one big vat of tobacco somewhere, Imperial Tobacco Company, in Justin's house. And just yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. Justin's cutting it up, and he's like, "This is for the shitty <laughs> ones." I don't know, but it's it's extra chemically tasting. It pulls really. Canadian cigarettes are they're just right down. You smoke them. Oh, they smoke fast. quick. Yeah, that's yeah. What, when I moved down here. I started smoking Marlboro Reds, which everybody. This is the equivalent down Cowboys. here. Cowboys, where people are like, "Can I have one?" And I'm like, "Here you go." And they're like, oh, "I want an American Spirit." Oh, really? you know, it's like, so I don't. American know. Spirit is like 45 minutes of cigarette. I know it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. But no, I like it. Cause I'm a hipster. Yeah, yeah. It's health. They're good for you. Yeah, I'm like oh, Meriwether Post Pavilion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean. No, there was yeah. a, I saw a thing, I saw a thing, I was doing prep, I'm serious yep. journalist now, yeah. that the, their sales went up after De, after DeMarco dropped. Maybe, When you know. popped, the, the, it spiked. Could have been. I don't really, I don't know, I mean, I don't know. Wait, Dave, can you bring this thing here? Can I show you something? Yeah. I, I did a little research. Yeah. Are you cool with this? Yeah. I just want to show you this. This is, um... This is uh, Jar Jar, and he was uh, he was president of the Mac Kids Club, and uh, this was six months after Salad Days came out. Well, you yeah. played yourself again. Why? That song was on number two, not Salad Days. Oh, what song? The Vice Royal. That's right. Oh, you like that? So I think the Jar Jar. I don't know Jar. if we'll use this. I, I pitched this to Mac before the interview, and he was like, <laughs> You want to look? I'm not trying a dying I child. I, you know, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to put these cigarettes it in these kids' mouths. You know, it's very sad when down kids lens, die. Yeah. Yeah, of course, it's so sad. Look, especially you know, because you're indie rock, because they want to be like, <laughs> you know. But now I you're should, off. Six. I should be the one getting mad. You know who? Uh, who was? Uh, you know, who, who put was? the cigarette? In, who put the first cigarette in my mouth? You know what I'm saying? Um, pain in the ass quitting cigarettes. Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. You were trying to be Dennis Leary. Yeah, I was just <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Smoking. Um, Smoking is fun. Drinking is fun. Doing drugs is fun. You know. Uh yeah, cigarettes are great. And they make beers. you look cool. You miss beers? B- 
Beers, yeah, I miss drinking beer. I miss drinking hard alcohol. I miss, um, you know, I don't miss the hangovers. Everything you got else. them bad. The older you get, the worse they are. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah. But, yeah, they're, um, yeah, the hangovers are bad. But uh, but you were good. At, you were saying to me the other night, you were like, I was, I like was a, the I was best like an at it. Olympian of. Uh, of beer. Uh, mm, yeah, of, drink, of drinking. Yeah, I was yeah. very, very, very uh, proficient at you it. You would hit Labatt's. Mm, actually the beers that we grew up drinking in Edmonton there was one it was a silver can had no branding on it and it just said beer beer and then underneath it said strong really beer, it was strong. like acme beer yeah pretty much there was yeah. no brand well i think they put beer twice because you beer need like beer a french, strong you need the french spelling of it which i think is still just yeah why beer. do you guys respect the fr- oh because of well when, when, when everybody came over to yeah. canada it was the french and the english and they didn't you know they were kind of like what kind of ended up happening was the english took most of the good you know cut of it and then they mm. gave france like the, the, this weird kind of swamp area but, quebec uh, quebec yeah you don't like montreal uh no, no i no, love no, it not, i lived there for years but i don't it's not, i love it and a lot of people it's horny do. it's very horny oh yeah there's like a cd underbelly there yeah i don't know i know like bros from high school who were like yeah we did a bachelor party in montreal yeah, see, I never. You know I don't the know. strip clubs up for there. For me, it's kind of like, it's similar to Berlin, where people go there and it's Disgusting. super cheap to live there, and they just become very lazy. And it's kind of like the other thing that really pisses me off about Montreal is a Holocaust. lot of kids. Oh no, I thought you were Berlin. Kids from the no. well, probably in Berlin too. The but Holocaust all these kids, is awful. Like, you know, like like oil tycoons from the Midwest to Canada, their children will move out to Montreal. And really? be like, oh, and they're like dumpster diving for bread and shit. And it's just like, get the fuck out of my face, yeah. you idiot! Like, what's wrong with you? you what crusties I mean? are done, right? I'm sure there's crusties probably in like I haven't seen, or something. I haven't seen crusties in a hot minute. What are they? What 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 happened to them? Well, they they're all the, it was all like uh, their dads were all like a uh, CEO CEO of uh, the Iraq War and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like David, come on, you don't have to be doing this. There's got to still be well, you know, in the the there's there's crusties and then there's the oogles, which are the musical crusties that rode oogles. the trains. Oogles. They were like ukulele crusties. Oh yeah, it was like um, what was like the punk folk thing? Um, that that was like the thing that they they liked. You know what I'm talking about or no? I don't know about that. It was like punk folk. Yeah. What's a band? What's an example of a band? Hmm. The Eagles. Yes. I don't know. Um. No, I I don't know. That's another thing I threw out that I thought you'd be like you'd save me on. With the punk folk. I mean, I was never. I don't really know. I was never in there. I don't know. You didn't like that. What 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 did what did you like as a boy? As a boy? Yeah. I think I had a very classic uh oh. What's going on, Nick? Why what are you doing? About the levels? Oh, it's okay. We're leaving this in. We're leaving this in by the way. The audience is gonna be like, Where's Nick? And then no, they'll feel b- better knowing that you're here. <laughs> no, you don't say that kind of stuff to Nick. You don't say that kind of stuff to Nick. Don't tell him about something that's too expensive because he'll buy it. And don't tell him about something that's like going to make him uh, lose his mind like that. Just tell Nick that it. We're good. You We're good. ruined the interview, Dave. No, no, everything's fine. Dave, Dave, it's okay, Dave. Um, I love Dave. What were you, you asked me what I, what I liked as a younger man. Yeah. I think I had it's cl- kind of like that's kind of like a Mark Marin question. Yeah, it's like me I being did like, his thing too. One you time. did Mark Marin when I went to his place. Was like? He uh, I, he was listening to my record as I walked in. That going, sucks. Whoa, oh, hey Mac, how that you sucks. It's <laughs> like okay, that's cool. so embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he wore just wanted, Mac he just wanted to talk about how much he doesn't like Steely Dan. And I was kind of like, really? What? Yeah. He hates Steely Dan. How so. dare he? Yeah, wait, 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 he thinks he thinks he's allowed like. I th- I don't know. I mean, I like Steely Dan, but it's just kind of like, what do, you know, when somebody says, what am I supposed to say about that? You know, what do, I don't know. What just say, like, you're not funny. So <laughs> <laughs> It was, you no. know, it was interesting to go. Who, and he was like, who are your really guys? big names in there, you know? Who are your guys? He had Hunter Biden on recently, he apparently. Did? Yeah. Mm. So sick. Yeah. We got to have him on the show. Dave, get an email. Thanks. Um, the vibe was, I don't think he really knew who I was, really. So I was kind of like, and I've been in that situation a lot it. of times where it's kind of like, okay, like, thanks for having me. Yeah. Because there's, there's not like this. Where there's we're, times we're, where it's, you know. We're bo- boyfriends. We're actually. already boyfriends. We're, we're spent boyfriends. last night together. Last two nights. That's true. Dude, I put Mac in the worst situation last night. I felt so bad. What do you mean? You're very nice to people. Yeah, of course. 
you're very nice to people. I honestly like no no, no. you're very <laughs> nice to people. Like I saw I went <laughs> I saw people come up to him and well they're very nice to you too cuz our guys I've been getting I'll tell you there's our a, guys. Oh my god. I've been our guys great. are like I have your address. You know? Well, I probably, and I have to be like oh some of those you want to take a selfie with yeah. me too but it's like but for I've been having a nice when I come back to New York I have a nice experience. I don't know why but I get this like very specific you saw it a couple times where people are just like hey Mac or like good to see you that's here, nice i like the like, tip of the hat i like, like that yeah it is good to be back around here thank you it's good to see you too you know it's like that's nice i don't know i don't well, know we what it is, but it's not like that everywhere it's just for some reason i think it's like i don't know i don't know what it is last night we went my girlfriend was like with her friends at like this girl's parents apartment it's like like fancy apartment and the girl whose parents apartment it was was wasted and then she she gave Mac a guitar. She's like, "Make me a Zach," and I was like, I, I felt awful. We had a good time. We sang. No, he was being so nice like to them about minutes. that. He was we being sang, so nice. We taught like four people how to play guitar. We sung "Kumbaya," mm-hmm. and I played recorder. There were two recorders going, four acoustic guitars. That's so really nice of you. <laughs> I mean, what you I would hate that. Well, what's the what's the alternative? Can you imagine like, if I'm I, not playing this fucking guitar? Yeah, I'm not be, playing no kumbaya. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you'd be you like, know, like, fuck the B twos. Like, yeah, hey, you what you're gonna do? You know, uh, it's like she was nice. That place was nice. Her boyfriend that place was, was nice. nice. You know, Eli, I love. Yeah, that yeah, it was nice, nice That's place. They, everybody was very uh, sweet, and then you know there was a. Yeah, I had a glass of water, and uh, there was some cheese and shit under the strange like pyramid glass thing on the mm-hmm. table i didn't touch that but i was looking at it mm-hmm. and um yeah i don't know yeah nice thanks for inviting me there oh i was about to apologize no i had a great time like a drunk jewish girl being like let's play meowza it was cool and then her parents were in this band and i'm gonna listen to them later. i want to listen to her parents band yeah, absolutely. it sounds good i think you know it, it should be cool you it know, sounds cool. good. Yeah. They were on soundtracks the and stuff. Some, you know, yeah. well, I'll find out when I look into it. But I think the other thing too is in a city like New York. I'm from very far away from a city like this. It's still, you know, and I when I lived here, mm. I never lived anywhere near Manhattan. I lived in Brooklyn. I lived in the Rockaways, so I had my experience of it. But even still now, because I never had the city thing, I come and stay in the city, and I'm like, wow. I'm in a movie. This is insane. It is cool. And then you get to go in a fancy apartment like that all over it on the is. west side. And it's like, wow. That's nice. It's amazing. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. So. The building's so, so big. So B? So big. A oh, big. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. amazing. It's incredible. It's incredible. It must have cost so much money to do all that. Absolutely. I put on a uh, mob deep walk around. Yeah. Yeah. Just have a New York experience. It's cool. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. I'm being No, I feel the same here. way. Honestly, it's I've, a beautiful I place. lived here in 2014 and it's still like, it's great. I still feel like uh Francis Ha walking yeah. around the city. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah. 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 Um, what were you saying? You met Michael McDonald? Yeah. And he said the, he said, it, he said a, Racial slur? That is incorrect. No, okay, never mind. My re- Davidson. I'll, t- re- I'll tell you. I'll tell yeah. you. Michael McDonald, sweet, one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. Sweet, Legend. sweet guy. Bluest eyes you'll ever see in your life. The so look, they gorgeous. look into your soul. I don't know what it is about these eyes. They're crazy. The white. Can you imagine your parents get a divorce and your mom meets Michael McDonald? That'd be cool. How nice would that be? That'd be nice. You'd be like, well, my I'll mom tell you, I'll tell like, you something kind of like He's going to sing at her but like it's, that? Uh, it's gorgeous. But Michael McDonald, <laughs> the first time Michael McDonald ever had a Vietnamese pho, you know, mm-hmm. was with me. I took him to this place in downtown LA. This is big. LA Guys, this is called, big. Called uh, 87. We went okay. in there and he met, we, we had a phone call and then he was like, he's like, yeah, well, we should have lunch, man. And he lives in wow. Santa Barbara. So he came down and we, we had lunch and, uh. I remember the quote from that. I was asking him all this stuff about doing, you know, their Doobie Brothers records and Steely Dan records and stuff. But he went, is it, hey man, it, is this bone broth? And I was like, yeah. And he's uh-huh. like, my wife says this is supposed to be so good for me. And Incredible. I was like, that's right. It is. It is good for you. But it was kind of, it's a beautiful thing that we shared together. But then a couple years later, we did Coachella and uh, he was there performing because he has a song with Kenny Loggins and with Thundercats. I he remember that on, song. Uh, on Thundercats. And Thundercats is my yeah. good friend as well. And, um, and so we went to see the show and Michael was hanging around afterwards uh-huh. and I met his daughter and he was around. But that year, my aunt, Auntie, Auntie Weeb, we call her, her real name is Eva. She, she came to Coachella because she's a huge Radiohead fan. 
Nice. Um, uh, but that I was the other radio heads console went down and there was all these technical problems. My aunt was having a blast anyway. But the, the problem is my aunt is, you know, she's an older lady and she's going to the desert even for a young buck like me is tough. You know, there's no shade at that fucking mm-hmm. festival. There's no, water costs like $45 a bottle or something. It's like horrible place to be. I like playing it. <laughs> but, um, but it's uh, crazy. It's a crazy place to be. And my aunt was having a really hard time. You know, she was like, I need a golf cart. I was like, they don't care about me here. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm just a small fry here. But God bless Michael McDonald. After he was done with Steven, he went up to my aunt and he was like, hey, Eva, like, why don't, why don't us old timers go, you know, sit over by the lake over there? And there's this lake, this fake lake that they have on the festival ground. My aunt sat by this lake on this bench. With or on the, him? Oh, with Michael McDonald for like 12 hours. Oh, you know, my it's God. Like, and she, now she's still, she's just like, how is Michael? How is it? You know, this Michael McDonald saved my aunt's life. Do you think? I think so. You think? Yeah. He dicked her down real good. No, no, no. no. Come on, let's be a happily real. married man. I met his daughter. Beautiful. He has to be a great husband. I'm sure he is. Yeah, I should yeah. go. He's he's a legend. What's he's her legend. his daughter like? She's, She's like, great. Really She's like, nice. nice to meet you. <laughs> no, come on. We were talking before the show about the his interview in in the Asia documentary. We were talking about doing the peg we were talking back about and the vocals, peg back yeah. and vocals. He's like, foreign never- movie. Incredible, dude! Yeah, it's awesome. I love that shit so much. Nick, my my partner, Nick. Yes. Um, my real best friend. I know I told you, he's my real best. Um, he uh he was going through a breakup like a couple of years ago, and yeah. he went real manic, and then just got obsessed with Michael. Michael McDonald. McDonald. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. and the dubs. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I love um and Christopher Cross also, too. Also, oh, there's a. I saw a show, Kenny Loggins, Michael McDonald, Christopher Cross, Hollywood Bowl. Unreal. One of those booths. We had like turkey dinners in the in the box. The original kings of it was comedy. Amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> Christopher Cross always intrigued me because it's like, you seen those early videos with Sailing came out or whatever, and he's doing like late night TV performances, this like soft, sweet, kind of yachty sounding, yeah. you know, very like rich, melodic, beautiful music. And he's up there with this like ratty ass goatee and like a football jersey on. It's like, dude, what are you, what the fuck is going on? But uh, amazing. He's so soft and sweet. My the- friend's dad told me that he came out on the radio. It was like pre MTV. Yeah. And everyone's like, this is about to be the next guy. He's the classic uh, and then, video video killed the radio and star. Then yeah. Pictures of him went into rock magazines. And, it was like, and he was too. too not saying he's a bad looking guy. I think it's he's just a, contrary a, to what he's people, an, you know. He's a, come on. I love him. You're I met so him at that political. show. You're so political. It's I mean, LA. You live in LA, so you can't. But well, that, I'm not, that, I'm not, that is not. That is not a. That is. That is not an. Uh, he Come will, on! Yeah, I just I said my piece about the fucking football jersey. I love him so the whole much. Band, he's got a triangle player. Everybody's <laughs> looking fucking dressed to the fucking nines. And then he's up there with the fucking football jersey. It's like, what the fuck is this? Even the fucking album cover. It's like that swan in the bubble or whatever. It's, it's a like, flamingo. That's the yeah, flamingo. flamingo. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I yeah. love that album so much. But that that's like that's a tidbit about about him. Same with Michael though. A lot of a lot of dads. You'll talk about a lot of dads about the uh-huh. Doobie Brothers, and they'll be kind of they got two ways. The brothers do they love. Yeah, they love the brothers Doobie post Michael, or they're like Michael McDonald fucked up one of the greatest rock bands in America. Oh, they're like as soon hurt. as he got in there, he fucked it all. It's up. like Kennedy getting killed. They're still injured exactly. by it. Yeah, yeah. They they want China Grove again. You know what I mean? They want that doobies. He's the best. But I think uh, I I like post, po, you know, Michael and post Michael doobies. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. It's like when Peter Gabriel left uh, left. What do you call it? Uh, what, uh, what uh, Genesis. Call it? Genesis. Yeah. You should know faster than me. I'm a comedian. I don't, I'm working to, on it. I don't, I don't have to know all this crap. Yeah. Yeah. But Phil kind of bodied that that shit. F- yeah. Have you ever played drums and sung at the same time? No, but I've always uh, wanted to. You know We've what? talked about it recently. In my mind, the closest analog to that is riding a horse and wielding a sword. I was thinking about that recently. It I must feel the same I, kind of way. Because I've started riding. Yeah. You know, I've told you this. I started riding motorcycles recently. In well, the last, I don't like that. No, but here's no, the I'm just saying I, about the horse. What's the point? It's too dangerous, horse, man. On a horse, like you'd be on a horse and you got the reins here. Yeah, yeah. And you could have a sword like this. But I was thinking, because there's hell so of movies cool. where people pull up on a sport bike and they're like spraying out a crowd with like an Uzi or some so shit. So you know cool. What I'm saying? Yeah, on a bike. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, but you have to, here's the clutch. Like, how the fuck, you have to use both, like, you got nothing for the Unrealistic. Fucking, so I don't know how, it, but I've been thinking about that a lot. Yeah. You should how? try. <laughs> it's like double, double machine gun is a fake thing for movies, right? Because there's too much kickback. I think even this, like the, the, you know, holding it like this, like it would just smoke you like pretty, you mm-hmm. know, you, the kick, I, I mean, I don't know. Have I never you shot, shot, have never you shot, shot a gun? I shot my one uncle bullet. Let me hold, my uncle's a policeman in Canada. I held, held his gun when I was a child. Mm-hmm. But, and you uh, respect him? The police? <laughs> let's not get into that. Uh-huh. But, uh, 
Uncle Dave. God, he bought me my first guitar amp. God bless you, Uncle Dave. I love you. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think I just want to say this is a center left talk show. Yeah. But I think America is what's great about us is our immigrants. And so I, I thank you for, for, for coming. Thank you very much. But for you having could have me. become a citizen to vote for Bernie. I couldn't. Like you know Neil. what's crazy Neil about that? Neil did it. Here's Neil did it. I, I gave Bernie some money when that was, you know, uh, at the years ago. You funneled it from Canada? Well, here's the thing. I donated Is some money. Is that legal? That's not legal. No, it can't be legal. And then, and then they, no, they don't rat calling. on Bernie on TV right I'm now. I'm not ratting, but it's just like they called me so fucking much. And I had to say to the the guys, I was like, I don't, I'm Canadian. Like, I don't think, and they were like, what? yeah, but. Yeah, on, whatever. You know? And I was like, wow, it's kind of crazy. Wow. It's kind of crazy. I was so like a Bernie's Russian a cri- oligarch. He's a criminal. You're, that's what you're yeah, saying. I don't know. I think he's a good guy, personally. I don't know. I would, you know, if they, I tried to get a green card at one point, didn't go through. Maybe, maybe. Why not? Again. I don't know. I have no idea. We would love to have you here. I, yeah, I would. I mean, I lived, lived here for a long time. My Do mom's American. My mom doesn't even have Canadian citizenship, so. Yeah, why would you want that crap? You get the free, you get the free swagged out healthcare, baby. You remember during COVID, they Bernie did a like a video, uh, like like a video feed rally, like Zoom thing, and it cut to to Neil. Oh, the, he had the concerts. Yeah, he had like a concert do, thing. Yeah, yeah. My and friends ne- did that. And Neil goes, "Hi, Bernie," and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, sorry, crying." You seen this new? It's like uh, my two Neil favorite Young guys hanging out. Oh no, new, Neil Young and Rick Rubin do one of those Zane Low doc uh, interviews on the, on Shangri La on the lawn. There, you seen this new video came out a couple no. weeks ago. And there's this part where Neil Young's talking about factory farming. He's talking about putting a bunch of pig shit in a lagoon. It pisses him off. It's uh, he's just talking about this lagoon a lot, and it's fucking crazy. A lagoon. Yeah, he's, we take all the shit and we put it in a lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe that it's probably something that actually happens. And I, you know, yeah, but he's no talking good, about poo poo like, going in a lagoon. He's like, he's, he's <laughs> talking about like shoveling all this shit into a lagoon. I man. love him so much. Hi, he's the best. He's Canadian. I know. He's a king. He's one of the kings. I know. You guys make good people. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. make good music people and good comedy. The it's best com-, com. I mean, normal. Leslie be- Nielsen. Oh my, my grandfather God. went to high school with Leslie Nielsen. I'm, uh, that is one of the coolest things I've ever heard in my entire life. My girlfriend went to that same high school as well, Victoria Compass. It was the art high school in Edmonton where we mm-hmm. grew up. At that high school, was he like fumbling things and like falling down? And stuff? I don't know. My, my Hurting his said penis? They played trumpet together. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. He's the funniest guy of all time. Yeah, the Naked Gun airplane. We watched, Nick and I watched Wrongfully Accused a couple of years I've ago. I've never seen that one. It's the it's the fugitive parody movie, uh, the parody of the fugitive. You know, you know who else went to that high school? Mm. Uh, Tommy Chong. So sick weed. Yeah, weed smoking. <laughs> Tommy Chong. Yeah, you guys like the the comedian. You you punch above your weight. I met uh, Cana- a Canadian comedy legend Mike Myers one time. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Because of the get in my New belly. Zealand you know? connection, <laughs> Neil Finn. Crowded house. Got oh that in- shit! Mike that's New Myers Zealand, not Neil. Australia. That's that. Well, it's New Zealand. Yeah, that's New Zealand. New Zealand. They all act like that's. Uh, I've tried to listen to it before. And I'm like, they all act like it's Australian. Their guy. Well, everybody yeah, yeah, wants to guy. claim it because it's so good. Neil's a le- he's legendary. I, I when I heard music. it, it's, it, it's it hasn't music. clicked. But um, but I guess him and Mike are friends, and Mike came into that BBC song from Austin Powers. We all sang that with him. Incredible. Incredible, and he pulled this this gag when he was leaving in his black car. He pretended to spit on us. That's Mike good. Myers, yeah, as a bit, yeah. He was like, oh. yeah, yeah, it was cute, yeah. funny, Shrek, very funny. Yeah, Shrek was just pretending to spit on us. Yeah, yeah, the love guru was gonna spit on you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. You can't do that crap anymore. No. Yeah. Mike. Back in the day, you used to. <laughs> That's what I don't want to sound like Tucker right now, but <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. What was it? <laughs> So let's. You like hockey? Uh, no, I hate hockey. Hockey was a. Uh, no, oh, that was the jocks. That was the jocks that wanted to kill me. They were pantsing yeah. you, uh, laughing at your cut no, penis. Yeah, they were cutting my penis. They up. were cutting your penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were slap shotting you in the <laughs> yeah. penis. No, they were bad. I didn't like those guys. They too were. Much. I liked all their girlfriends. They were nice. Yeah, it's so funny. I was saying before, but like we have this like stereotype where we're like, oh, you guys are all uh, all like softies, you know? Yeah. And then you go up to Canada, and it's like it's like drunk. Yeah, dr- yeah, real drinking uh, culture, really sketchy. A lot of uh, bad, um, bad things come from that. Yeah. In Montreal, it's like 
I remember saying out loud, I was like, it's so cool to see white trash people speaking French. Yeah. Because you think French is like... I'll tell you a fun tidbit that's about like that French That's like the Merovingian from that, The Matrix. That, it's like that class. F- the French they speak up there, the Quebecois French. Yeah. It may sound... You know, I don't know. It doesn't, arr, 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 exactly. Arr, it doesn't arr, sound arr. like it doesn't sound like the France French, and you may think that it's kind of a new, like slangy or some kind of. Uh, but it's actually apparently that French traveled over the ocean on the boats, and that's like it's like Quebec is like a time capsule of like, you know, like a medieval French. Yeah, apparently. I've I've asked uh, French pe- people what that sounds like. They yeah. sound they say it sounds like the 1800s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's from like the fur trappers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, you learn that every year in Canada. But the pelts, they're trading the pelts, and the, the pelts. And, you guys you know. really proud of the pelts? Yeah, it's all about the furs. Yeah, yeah, the furs. And then there was, you know, yeah, <laughs> the blankets and this and mm-hmm. that and the other thing. Arcade know. fire. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, <laughs> Canadian history. There. Canadian history. Yeah, yeah. Have you done a land acknowledgement at a show before? Um, Are you supposed to? Well, yeah, I have. Yeah, but we. I mean. I think it, when we went to Canada, they, they did one and then we were like, what if you were gay with your dad? It was like very funny that they were like, we're on stolen land. Yeah. We're sorry. And then we're like, oh, what if you and your father were in a consensual homosexual relationship? Would you say that? And then everyone was like, ah, we, you know, we did our stupid comedy, you know, yeah. after like a very sad acknowledgement of the uh, yeah. abuse of the indigenous. Yeah. yeah. I've Canada's, I feel like Canada... Ever, especially Western Canada has always tried to acknowledge it a little bit more. I mean, in the States, it's just like forgotten. Oh, we don't think about it at all. No, but yeah. there's, you know, we played a, we played a show on the, uh, uh at, at a chapter house in the Navajo nations in, uh, uh Arizona once. Mm-hmm. Or that was it in New Mexico. You bought maybe? illegal fireworks too? Mm, no. That's what, we, growing up, we go to the reservation and get illegal fireworks. No. We play, we Pretty played, cool, we no? had the traditional food. It was a beautiful thing. The chapter house president Manny, his son, son just put out a new record. He's great people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it is a crazy it's thing. It's kind of like here. Australia and New Zealand, because like in New Zealand they're all doing haka and stuff. Yeah. And in Australia they're like insanely racist. You know, like yeah. America's like the Australia, and you guys are like the New Zealand. I always felt like Australia felt kind of like Canada. It's like America, Australia, Canada, then don't, New Zealand. Don't is down don't here. do that to yourself. Why? They're hor- They're horrible. You don't. Wanna, <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mind I went, going down there. I, I did a know. show. We did a show in Melbourne, and I accidentally uh, did, made a stand against racism. Yeah. But I didn't know until after I got back from the show. Oh yeah. But I thought there was like some guy in the front, and when we before we went to Melbourne, they're like, oh, you, you know. That's the place where everyone uh, cancels each other on Facebook. Yeah. That's what everyone told us. Yeah. And then we got there. They were saying that it's like the progressive place, yeah. you know. And then we got there, and then there were some like drunk guys in the audience, and I I, sh- I shut them down, but I couldn't like it was unintelligible to me. Right. And I was like, I was like, you'll never be on Come Down. Everyone, round of applause, like huge. And I was like, why is this a big? I was like, why is this? Yeah. Why did that crush? Because they were. And then uh, on Twitter, I saw when I got home, they were like. They were uh, shouting uh, uh, racist slurs uh, towards uh, Aboriginals. Uh, I see. And uh, so I accidentally, I'm proud of myself. I mean, uh, good job. Even if it wasn't on purpose, I, I would have done it if I knew what they were saying. But yeah, I'm happy that I did it. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Nice hey, work. Whatever. Australia, baby. Real clean breakfast down there. Real well, clean. Like, a lot uh, of poached Avo eggs. toast. A lot of poached Avo eggs. Avo toast. It's going to cost you, yeah. what, a pack of cigarettes, 40 bucks down there? Disgusting. Fucking psycho. Does Canada have like the nasty pictures on the packs yeah. of cigs? Mm-hmm. Like in Europe. No branding anymore. Every box is just kind of light charcoal y color, yeah. And it's just got like a like someone that's yep. yeah, like a lung that's like a mm-hmm. brown. Infected. In Europe nicotine. in Europe, uh there's like one of the pics they use is like a little boy smoking a cig, which is like that's adorable, first off. Yeah. But then you look at it and he looks exactly like Vladimir Putin. Wow. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me want to smoke more. <laughs> that was, I remember a thing when that first came up, people would, they were collecting the boxes and they were like, it was like, you got to catch them all. Kind like of like a Pokemon, Pokemon cards yeah. or something. Yeah. You you still play Pokemon or no? Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's for babies. No, personally. I don't. I haven't, I haven't done it. Really? What were we, we were talking, oh, we were talking with Riley the other night though about Post Malone's Pokemon concert and Riley with the hoodie and the blowfish cover. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I only want to be with you. 
Mm-hmm. That's a good song. Yeah. Darius Rucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hootie. Hootie. Yeah. Yeah. You think his name's Hootie. No. It's but not. it's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Malone. a fucking lie. Yeah. Can you believe it? That guy is uh, Cedric. His last name isn't the Entertainer. <laughs> yeah. My whole world crumbled around me yeah. when I heard that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Did you ever consider a nom nom de plume? What does that mean? Like a a, a name, like a you do your own name. Oh yeah, people think that it's not my name though. Oh, they think it's a, like a like a, a lot an of anti-Italian. Like, like, hey Mac, or like or whatever your name is. It's like what the fuck are you talking about? But it's you they know, think I, you're a liar. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've, I have a strange history with my name. I had a completely different name until I was eight. Then it got legally changed. I've always been called Mac, but Mac is short for McBriar, which is like, what the fuck is that? A you last know? name? No, yeah, well, it sounds like that. Mm-hmm. McBriar. Scottish Mac McBriar. Yeah. yeah. But see, but when I was McBriar, Samuel Lanyon DeMarco. Cool. But when I was born, it was Werner Winfield McBriar Smith the mm-hmm. Fourth. Hitler. So Werner, which is kind of Werner, psycho, yeah. Wait, you got you got. But it was a name. You got Nazis sake. in your family tree. I got what? You got Nazis in the. Family no, no, no German in me. No, not nice really. I don't think. Nice. But uh, I don't respect them at all. Uh, Berlin? Can you imagine? Why are they? I don't want to live there. Can you? But they go there to like do ketamine. <laughs> but like, it's like the place where, like, they they did the Holocaust. Yeah. Can you imagine if Hitler Rent is saw so cheap that crap? Out there. Can you imagine if Hitler went to the Scheiser room at Bergheim? Yeah. He'd be like, damn, it didn't work. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. This is this stinks. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, like Scheiser. Yeah, Scheiser. Like Scheiser. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't respect those people at all. The poo poo? No, like Americans that go have a Berlin. Like girls are like, I was, you know, I was, uh, uh, you know, I. I was, I, I never I was only that. gay in Berlin yeah. and I did ketamine. See, this is kind of a similar thing I was talking to with... Um, a, Just start a, a family. What? Okay. Montreal, where it's like it's people move there from other parts of Canada and they like start wearing a scarf and they change their name and they're kind of like, well, he, I've arrived. Mm. And it's like, okay. They try to go French. It's weird. It's like you're not living in Paris. This is just a shitty city. It's not shitty. North. It's nice. No, I don't like it. It is mean, nice. I'm not trying to throw any shade. Old it. Montreal, of that's nice. Still, it's fine. I never really went down there. But it was right there in the city. I we nobody lives down there. Everybody lives. That's up very there. hipster of you. Oh, You're like sure. I'm not going to go to the nice part. I didn't. I'm here in Bushwick, Montreal. <laughs> I mean, kind of. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's all I could afford. I don't know. I'm here doing uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. But Who what cares? were we talking about? Names. Oh yeah, names. Yeah, Werner. So you can Werner. call him Werner for no, the. But rest that's of your it. real name. It was. Yeah. It's gone now. It was a namesake. Then mom and dad split, and she was like, fuck that son of a bitch. She changed your name? She changed... Oh, and I'll tell you this a funny story. Well, it's not... Mm-hmm. I mean, may, I find it funny, but it's... Uh, she asked me... How when, old were you when your mom changed eight, your name? Eight or nine or That's something. trauma. I mean, That's I traumatic. No? I was always mad. You can't it change matter. a boy name. You can. She did. It's the only name you have. But uh, but she asked my brother and I, because my brother, my brother has the sexiest name ever. Denzel? Um, Enrico Michael David DiMarco. Wait, why did he get it? He got a little sauce in his name. He got sauce. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, Michael and David are my uncles. So and Enrico, Michael, Enrico? David, but we call him Hank. Yeah, Enrico. Why do you go with that? Translates to Henry or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mom asked us what if we could do. You know, when we change, she was gonna change it. She's like, boys, what would you want your, your names to be changed to? And uh, I was like, Mario, Super Mario. You know what I mean? Cool. And then Hank though, yeah. Hank wanted to uh, change it to Flipper, like the Dolphin Show. So which I think funny. Been, yeah, so tight. Would've and she great. said no. She said no. I mean, she wasn't gonna do jack shit anyway. I think mm-hmm. she had already, she probably had already even done it at that point. But she changed it to Hank. No, it was already Hank. It was already. It was Hank. Enrico. Now he's a Enrico. massage. He was a ballet dancer for ten years, and then you age out. Now he's becoming a massage therapist. Getting his. Uh, I thought you were gonna say misogynist. Nope. No. Massage therapist. Good guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Young, yeah. Strong he's, though from ballet. He's my, he ain't heavy. He's my brother. Nice, but I took him to the place where you buy the supplies for the, uh, you know, you get your table and all of your uh, like pieces of jade or whatever the fuck ionizer or fucking uh, like salt lamp kind of uh, it's a massage therapy store. Yeah, I'll tell you that. And they have all of this. Um, I listen to a lot of kind of meditation, yoga, new age music. They got racks of this shit. They just give the CDs away for free. Anyway, in just mm-hmm. case you wanted to know, maybe you deep don't know. breakfast. Yeah, shit like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What what's that guy's name? I don't know. Terry Riley is that him? Oh yeah. Deep Breakfast. Yeah 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 yeah. You know yeah. that? Yeah. I like 
yeah, pure moods. Yeah. It's like that. Cut, you know, cut the, Dave, cut this. Yeah, continue. Sorry. They're not going to get, you're not going to get a name like Terry Wright. It's going to, you're going to get a CD in there. It's going to be the sound of like a, a stream with, you know, yeah, it's nice, mm. nice stuff. Free, pretty much next to free. They don't want the CDs. Yeah, I like his good music though. So if you're ever in Edmonton, my brother will. Yeah. Set I was trying you up. to do prep for this as yeah. like a real journalist. Yeah. And the only, uh, I, I Google Mac DeMarco interview. Yeah. The only one I watched was uh, Hot Ones. Oh, yeah. 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 Kind of cool. You did that. Yeah, I did it years yeah. ago. Did you, I want to I wanna pitch like an af, like a after show. What, like when, when I'm having diarrhea? Yeah, Hot Turds yeah. or something. I yeah. d- did fuck me up. And I'd be I'll like, Demi Lovato, what are you know, doing in there? They changed it up now. <laughs> but those wings were, the wings were ice cold. They were really? sitting there for a long time, yeah. That was disrespect. I mean, it was fine. I don't know. That's I got a, very I'll famous. Hot I'll tell ones. you this. Well, yeah. It was, and now it's even more. I, I Why is it like, so famous? Because it's a cookie concept. You know, what, seeing like a seeing like Fraser eat a spicy wing. Yeah, and I would like, love I'm to sweating. see Kelsey Grammer eat a spicy wing. That'd be amazing. Do you respect him? I love Kelsey. Grammer. I love him too. He's beast in X Men. I know. And that's amazing. Yeah. All he knows is pain in his life. He's had a horrible yeah, life. His, it's yeah, so yeah. far, Kelsey. Tragic Cameron. life. Holy yeah, yeah. bro, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, but I'll say, I got a lot of respect when I did that interview because apparently nobody eats, the, you know, people take a, just a little, a little morsel and then mm-hmm. they toss it in the trash. I ate the whole, every time. Really? Finished down to the bone, yeah. But then it was like who's was respecting like, you? People were like, that. damn, like, damn, look at all the. They're like, damn, you know, like, Mac, you did that for the culture. It was that. It was <laughs> that, and then everybody, all the other comments were like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, was this a country singer or something? I don't understand. But um, uh-huh. well, yeah, that's cool. It was nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks so much. Is this a better show or a worse show? Uh, I'm enjoying myself here. This is, I would say, this is um, um, much more interesting. May let's go with better. You didn't yeah. say better. Better. I just, I just said, said better. better first I said off. better. You were like being political. To LA. That's it's the great. Thing. It's great. It's great. You don't want to take shots at uh, people in the industry. No, I don't know. Yeah, no. this is much better. So this, who's the worst? The Adam Friedland show is 100 times better who's than the Hot worst? Ones. The worst? So you think Lord is a fake? Uh, is fake? Lord the singer? Yeah, yeah. I I'm saw her walk out. Of, I saw her walk out a bar in Auckland, in New Zealand, once. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. I was like, "Wow!" And she was being fake. No, she was just walking. <laughs> she was walking, and she has that song "Royals," and it was. I un- don't like that song. I know you said the other. I night. was saying last night. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Uh, Have you ever seen the Bruce Springsteen covers that song? Oh, How crazy maybe is that? I'm, it's probably better than. Whatever. And we'll never be royals. He likes Great. it. He fucking loves that song. You man. love you love the boss. Yeah, he is one of. the yeah champion Champ. yeah yeah the king he tells stories yeah you gotta tell you gotta tell stories what about the it. fuck am i gonna what are you I there was a gonna, town Chicago, Chicago, there was a town in north ontario i don't know it doesn't work for me really? like that. i don't know what am i gonna do have you ever met neil no i've, I've seen him play a couple times i've seen him twice yeah it's incredible he's he's the best apparently he's really afraid of COVID these days he won't leave the house he, I, That's he, a little bit of gossip. He re- no, the, he did a record. He did a record recently. It just came out. He's out there. He's doing his thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What was the record? Uh, what I don't. Uh, what's Disrespecting. It called? Uh, no, it's called. It's called Trump. Uh, world, probably. World. World. World record is what it's called. It's a good name for a record. That's a good name. Yeah. And he did it at, at, at Shangri La Studio in Malibu with Rick Rubin, and it's a very strange record. It's really cool. And he he shot all this weird footage on like a handy cam. It's really, really weird. Yeah, it's cool. Do you remember when he was mad at Bush? Um, and he was getting like booed. I don't remember. People were like, "Oh, him and the Dixie like, Chicks." Yeah, they were like, "I don't want to hear this politics crap." I remember that. I was yeah, in. It was uh, like, I was in grade uh, eight or seven when that was going on. Oh, grade eight. It. Yeah. At DeGrassi High. At yeah. uh, McKernan uh, McKernan Composite Junior High School. Grade eight. Yeah, grade eight. Nick put me on to DeGrassi. Yeah, we didn't watch DeGrassi up in Canada. You gotta watch it. It's crazy. Yeah. It is demented. You watch the one with Drake in it. Yeah, Drake's in, Drake's in it. Yeah, what but are you there's, But about? there's an older one, too, I think. No, we don't watch that crap. We watch the, the Drake kind. We liked, uh, <laughs> what was the one that we had up there? Uh, fuck. I guess it's from here, Dawson's Creek or some shit. No, like that was, you had it up there. Well, my so-called life, was that a, you didn't have Dawson's Creek down here? No, yes, we you had did. Of course, it, of course you did, yeah. yeah. Come on, dude. Uh, my so-called life, that was another big one, huh? I know, yeah. That what about Ready like or Not? That was a kind of Ready or Not. Beat it, beat it, beat Remember no, that? I one? just know the Fuji's. What we got up in Canada was a lot of uh, British television. So really? we got like, uh, 
this this cartoon of a bear called Rupert. We had uh, this I know show Rupert. called Keeping Up Appearances. That's you know? Nick and my favorite show. Keeping Up Appearances. Mrs. Bu- Mrs. Bucket. Yeah. Richard! Hyacinth Bouquet, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the best comedic character on yeah, any show really ever. she's really good. Yeah. Uh, we also had... That uh, was my family's uh, uh, show. Are like, You Being Served? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, then you guys know about yeah, this Faulty show. Towers. Faulty Towers, yeah. What was the one about the hotel? Um, that was like a crappy hotel. It was like John Cleese. Oh. Yeah, and there was like... they were, they were Wait, Faulty Towers you're talking about? Well, that was Faulty Towers. Yeah. Shit. Oh, what, what's the other one? Oh, Black Adder yeah, yeah. is what I... What in about, my did mind... You get the, did you get a... That was the one with Rowan. Pat. Post what? Postman Pat. Postman Pat. What was that? Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Is that he one? a nice guy? Yeah, he's a postman. <laughs> it's like a claymation uh, children's uh, program called Postman Pat. Uh-huh. And then there was another one that we didn't get in Canada, but I found out recently. It has like a, it's called Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam. <laughs> da, da, da. These theme songs are fucking so good. Wow. It's yeah. but we the Fireman Sam. It's like really psycho. What is it? Why do you guys let the 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 bastard royals on your money? That's pretty cucked of you guys, no? They can't. I mean, why? What am I? Why are you know? putting the queen and crap on your money? That was a big money? thing when the queen died. You see She's, that? You were covering that? You were looking at that? I was sad as shit, dude. Fucking yeah. Yeah. yeah I see the queen all the time throughout my life. Yeah, you know? but I, I'm going to say something. I haven't said this publicly, but I feel like you're probably on board with this. What? I'm all in on Charles. I think he's about to body this crap. <laughs> I think he's about to beast that shit. I was watching that shit when she when he's getting run, you know, uh, sworn in. Three cheers for King yeah. Charles the Third, and everybody's like hip hipping and hooray. It's fucking crazy. Like, you it's look, weird. It's, it's fucking crazy. It's, it's really crazy. weird. It's but it's kind of like the pageantry. It's a kind of amazing. What was that? The line to go see the Queen's bones was like fucking nineteen miles long or something. Mm-hmm. Like, that's I would have waited. I would have waited. I would if I was there. Too. The yeah. Queen Mum, you know. But it's like uh, yeah, we got the respect. You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, what, what do you, I don't. I don't fuck. But she She's was like running. She was money. like running you. We got, we got like. Because I feel like here we're like fuck the red coats. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you but know? we got you know, it's like on our money, it's like we got like 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 birds. We got like a loon. We got a polar bear. We got a fucking bee. Oh yeah, the loon. And then we got fuck Queen Lizzie. You know, the fuck Queen, Queen Mum. Fucking Queen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, cool. I don't know. She was around. You know what? What yeah. are you gonna do? You know. I so think I had a, you know, some people have told me, uh, this is not my theory, but some people told me that she was dead for a couple of years and they were keeping her on ice till the jubilee mm-hmm. came around. Yeah, I agree. Because, because, and they were they were they were putting her out as a hologram and shit. No, they put her where they put Austin Powers when he was uh, yeah. frozen. Yeah. yeah, that's what the the British freezing institute. Yeah, uh, yeah. Queen yeah. Lizzie. Queen Lizzie. Yeah, yeah. I love that last. You know, you'd say what you will. I'm not trying to say anything about the fucking monarchy or this that or call you know colonize or whatever. No, I, we're I, royalists. Obviously, you, and I. you know, people can say. But all I'm trying to say right now is there's that sweet little tidbit that they released. For the Jubilee, where she's having a fucking marmalade sandwich with Paddington Bear. And at the end of that, Paddington looks and he goes, thank you for everything. And it's mm-hmm. just like, fuck yeah, baby, that's so sweet. That's a real guy? No, it's a CGI, a CGI I fucking know. bear that wears a fucking I didn't, I didn't know. raincoat yeah. and he has a sandwich. But he pulls a sandwich out and he's kind of like, would you like a sandwich? Mm-hmm. She, but surprise, surprise, Elizabeth keeps a fucking marmalade in her purse. So. She does. She's nasty like she's, that. She's nasty like yeah. the bear. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's like, hungry she's like, like wait, a wolf. remember when Hillary said she had hot sauce in her purse? Hillary Clinton. Yeah, yeah. That's a, she's pulling some Drake style stuff with that hot sauce. Drake does that? Oh, he puts it in, in a condoms. Yeah, yeah, condom. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, that's that a really. That can't be true. No, no. Apparently, I've, I've talked to some friends that have said that that's, that's one of the oldest plays in the book. That's like a. That's like a pimp I think, style? especially in, like, in the rap music community. The hot sauce in the condom. It's, a, it's an old. It's an old. You know, you gotta yeah. do what you gotta that do. That comes from the beginning of hip hop. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. cool mode D. <laughs> the, <laughs> With the Tabasco. The wow, that's yeah. cool. I don't know. Just you never met him. You got a you got a collab. Who? Who? Drake. Drake. I don't know. I, mean, I feel like you don't respect your countrymen enough. I respect my countrymen. Imagine if there was a, a World Cup like uh, for uh, musicians. It'd be you, Justin, Team Drake. Canada. Yeah. Wow! If they let me on Team Canada, President, I'd be very pleased. President be very Justin, cute. he, yeah. I mean, wow. I would, you know, I would play for the, you know, I would do the best that I could do in that mm-hmm. regard for my country. But I, what would you play? I don't know. Whatever. Fucking, I play guitar. I don't know. Justin Bieber. Could so sing. sick. If you guys all started a band together, yeah. You started a group text yeah. called the craziest friend group ever. It was you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like who else are you missing? There? The weekend is in there. Who else we got? That's a big dog, celebs. That we got Rush. Well, rest Rush. in peace, Neil Pert. 
that's one. That's Getty Kamala. Lee. They're so like good at. They're yeah, so they good at their rip. shit. They rip ass. Yeah. Um, we got uh, Alanis Morissette. Oh my god! Have a, a little taste of that. We you had do. a taste of that? No, no. You the, I'm oh, saying sorry, I misunderstood what you're saying. I misunderstood what you're saying. I did have a sorry, taste. I have of a that, nasty though. I saw mind. her do at the, at the Juno Awards one year. I saw her do a, a mm-hmm. medley of Jagged Little Pill, which is it was a pretty thorough taste of the whole fucking record. So mm-hmm. at the go. Juno Awards, yeah, that's Canadian the Grammys. Elliot Smith, Elliot Page's awards. Is Elliot Page Canadian? She was in Trailer Park Boys. Really? Or th- he was he was in tr- Dave. <laughs> run it again. So the Juno Awards. That was Elliot Page. Oh, I get the joke now because the movie. Because the movie <laughs> Juno. Yeah. yeah we cut this whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah Canadian cool. Grammys, Hamilton, Ontario. You want to talk about Michael? I mean, I invited you on the show to to definitively. Well, Michael Jackson or Prince. No, that's some crap that Davidson put on. I wasn't going to do that. No, no, don't even read. I invited you on the show to to definitively exonerate Michael Jackson. I don't know if I can help you with of that. I can all say this, the, though. All the things people are saying in the media. I thought you were telling me that. You were like, you have the documents. I have the documents. You have the, you're like Alex Jones. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this tidbit. I haven't said this before, but... Uh, I had a Michael Jackson... I love Michael Jackson's... You know, he's incredible. He's He's changed the fate he changed the landscape in the face of fucking music forever mm-hmm. okay that's not the he's my I favorite exactly yeah here's the thing we I, shared a I, planet I'm an, with him i'm an adult man now yeah. right i moved to los angeles from 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 la i bought a house there wow look at this with my partner and it's like wow look i'm an adult mm-hmm. it's amazing what do adults do right when especially when you have a house you get some fucking framed yeah yeah and it's expensive and what did i find i found this old picture of michael jackson he's wearing a striped shirt and I got it framed and I put it up in the house and I was like, wow, mm-hmm. I'm an adult. This is amazing. Yeah. And then uh, I thought you were going to say Pulp Fiction poster. Yeah. Marilyn Manson. That'd Marilyn be pimp. Row on the fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no continue. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, I got it framed and then I was doing I, I don't really like to, you know, this is a pretty rare. Th- I don't really like to impress that often. I, but this is not press. But um, but I usually have everybody come to my house uh, to do it. But the the last time I put a record out was right when that Michael Jackson documentary came out. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that was out. Mm-hmm. A lot of journalists come to my house. I had to take this. The first thing I ever had framed, I put it down in the basement. Yeah, this was a smart and move. He's, he's still down there. Wait, you didn't put him back up? No, I got another thing hanging there. It's pretty nice. But you know. What'd you put up? A uh, picture of Woody Allen? <laughs> it's a m- movie post or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. That's like a, a moment. That's like a a part of like being an adult a uh, fella i think is like when you realize all your framed stuff is uh movie yeah, posters children's stuff yeah. yeah you think that that's adult and then you're like no this is just one step above dorm yeah yeah it's true yeah but yeah I'm, what can i say about michael i think um what was that what's the first michael song you you remember oh it was the one dad hold me I love Free Willy. Free Willy. Incredible. One of the best songs ever. That's fucking amazing. I remember that watching the Free Willy. I was rewinding the credits over and over and over listening to that. The best. But I remember. But they told me. I remember standing in line at HMV. (laughs) We had, uh, we had, uh, HMV was the big record store in Canada. It stands for Her Majesty's Voice. Queen Mom, right so there. pathetic. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking radical. Pathetic. Yeah. But I remember standing there and I was buying a Michael Jackson seed when I was like seven years old or something. And even back then, it was kind of like, I, I don't know if it was the clerk or somebody standing in front of me, like Michael Jackson. What are you fucking gay? And I was like, Whoa! Man. He said that that was gay. To of like you? a child. I was like seven or eight years old. It's like, what the fuck, man? That's <laughs> weird. I don't. It was weird. But what I remember, a mean yeah, I put guy. A weird taste in my, you know. But it's just I remember there was another uh, video of Michael that. uh it's this. It was an excerpt from some from some documentary where he was. T- they were talking about the song Ben. You know that song. It was a Jackson. Of course, the mouse ben, song. The, the rat. Yeah, yeah the rat. rat. Sorry. And yeah. They're talking about that, and it's uh, for me that you know it's a very beautiful sentiment. It's a love song. It's kind of like my song that we were talking mm-hmm. about earlier with the children's cigarette song Viceroy. It's like you write a a love song about something that nece- doesn't necessarily usually merit having a, ro- a love song. A rat. About it. Exactly. Yeah. But he nasty. Loves this rat and I, yeah. So it's like. Um, 
but I don't know, just something about he's singing it. I used to say, you know, he's singing that, and then it cuts. It's him and his little boy. It cuts to him with the sequin uh, suit on. He's on the stage at like the yeah. Motown Awards. I used to say, and his voice has gotten higher, and he's got the little Jerry curl, and he looks like it's just I don't know for some that video. I used to watch the video over and over and over again. It's just like he's an incredible, incredible craftsman. I remember my parents said that. I remember my dad saying, uh, a little kid, he was like, um, uh, I was doing the dance, like yeah. the grabbing your penis thing. Yeah. And then my dad said that, that Michael Jackson and Madonna are sick people. That's what he said. And then uh, I mean, it, that was at the height of like, you know, he's like, he sleeps in a cryo, cryo freeze chamber. Right. And, and she he's had got the, the, sex the elephant book. man's bones like in his bed or something. You know, it's like, yeah. Great, yeah. You know. yeah. And you know, uh, who knows? Probably. I don't know. Whatever. I my The first one I remember is the... Uh, the video for they don't care about us. What I you, gotta say is that he's in the favela. Do yeah. you remember? He's like, and he's pissed. It's like pissed, Michael. I like the one what's uh, black or white where he's in the desert and there's of course there's lions, the face changing. And then he he that's when he was started starting to do his screws like ah. I loved ah yeah yeah, yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, really he danced cool. pissed. Yeah, he, he invented Shut that. Dude, da. Yeah. Shut the beat there, da. I found out later they don't care about us. Uh, had an anti-Semitism controversy. Oh, I see. Cause he's like, he says like, Jew me, like kike me or something. Oh. And then he basically did the Kanye defense. They were like, why did you say that? And he's like, I am the Jew. I am the racist. I see. He like did the same thing, I guess. But no, he was trying to say that it was like, uh, he was speaking for the yeah. oppressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that video is so, and that song is so. That was around too. the same time. That was, was history. Like, that was when yeah, history came out. The crazy, yeah. like when he had the giant statue in the desert and shit, and he was so, flying around in a jetpack and shit like that. So cool. Also, the Super Bowl performance. Come on, I mean, Prince's Super Bowl. You know, you got this cue card here, Prince. I love Prince as well. Prince's Super Bowl performance. Purple in the rain. rain in Miami. It's fucking beautiful. In the rain. It's fucking beautiful. The rain started coming down. The best thing I've ever seen in my life. Pretty much. Yeah. Do you remember Pretty the much. memorial, the Michael Memorial? Um. Yeah, and it was broadcast or whatever. It was right? broadcast. I. I sometimes. I. He, his mausoleum is in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. In. Uh, you go. In, uh, yeah, I've been quite a few times. Is it's, it? A, what does it look like? Is it a pyramid? No, it's like kind of like. Uh, I don't know. Kind of greasy. It's a greasy looking. Kinda. It's like an unmarked van. No, no. It's with like a marked. hand with a lollipop coming it's out. It's got like. Uh, no, that was a. That was a. Oh, Dave, I see. cut that. Yeah. <laughs> I should um, I should I shouldn't say that stuff about him. No, whatever you know, it's your show. It's messed up. But uh, the uh, yeah, Michael uh, Michael uh, the Stevie know. Wonder performance at the memorial is mm. something I watch all the time. A lot of people would uh, a lot of people theorize that Michael was actually at his own memorial. He was with Tupac and Elvis. He was there. What do you mean he was there? Like he was there soul? in disguise. Really? You've seen all that Martin Bashir shit where he was like going out and shopping in full disguise. A lot of people would contest that he is not in fact dead. Yeah. Not, you know. Do you remember, you, you see the, you like Simpsons? Yeah. You remember when he did Simpsons? Yeah. Uh, Lisa, it's your birthday. Yeah, but yeah. you know who was singing? Uh, no. It was a Michael Jackson oh, impersonator. Yeah, yeah. But Michael did the voice, though. He did the talking he voice, the and then yeah. he hired a, an impersonator, and they were like, why did you do that? And he was like, it's a joke I'm playing on my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. He was a he was mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> what, so the joke was, it's not, it's not me singing, fellas. That, yeah, that he's a famous singer, but he's not singing. That's just strange. I'm yeah. sure that that's got to be horseshit. That has to be not true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. How are you feeling? I got to piss really bad. But Go whatever. piss, dude. We're not. This isn't the Stanford prison experiment. <laughs> what, do you, what was the last thing I wanted? I don't care, man. As long as you had fun. No one's going to fucking worry about the continuity of the cards. Yeah, we'll we'll also cut this down too. There was like fluff, but I think there's there's some nuggies. You thought it was good, Nick? I'm very self conscious about this. Yeah, yeah. I want to be good, guys. Mac, thanks for joining us. You got a new record coming out? Five Easy Hot Dogs is my record that is coming out. I think it's maybe in January, but I'm not completely sure. And it's an instrumental record which I recorded. All over this great continent of ours. Very nice. Hope you enjoy. If you don't, 
I don't give a fuck. Hot dogs. Hot dog flavored water. Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. The Chocolate Starfish. That's a gross name when I Absolutely. found out what it was. It sure is. It's a butt and then a, was it penis you know that, water? You know what is hot dog water? He record to, uh, uh, no, actually the record before that, Insignificant Other, he dedicated, Fred Durst dedicated that whole record to uh, Ben Stiller. <laughs> I swear to God, there's a little blurb on the, front, on the front of the record where he goes, this record goes out to Ben Stiller. <laughs> you are my favorite <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> it's insane. That's yeah. great. And in the pamphlet, the CD pamphlet, there's hella photos of the two of them just kicking it. It's really Stiller really and Durst? Oh, yeah. He's making movies also, now, I'm gonna right? I'm going to plug this. I'm going to plug yeah, this plug. for you. Fred Durst is a director nowadays. Yeah, he makes movies. And he created a movie called, uh, what is it? It's oh, I've it. seen it. With John Travolta. It is psychotic. <laughs> it is a It is the most insane movie I've called? ever What's seen in my life. The fanatic. The fanatic. Holy Ray crap! Play, yes, it is in, insane. I had a screening for the fanatic in my backyard. I had one of those giant inflatable animal, Amazon screens. We had like twenty-five people there. Incredible. It the is scene. The scene where they listen to Limp Biscuit in the car. Incredible. Durst is really doing some great stuff. These and days. apparently, Fred has a. I think it's a maybe a once a month or so. He does a. Uh, a uh, jazz night in LA. Mm -hmm. He like hosts a jazz night or something. So <laughs> I'm not fucking with you on that. So, <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. If you're in LA, go check that out. Um, and also seriously watch the fanatic. It's amazing. Mac, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this.